for the donkey of the day. That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the devil. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Donkey of the day for Tuesday, June 9th goes to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and all the other congressional Caucasian Democrats who decided that yesterday they were going to wear kente cloth and take a knee during a moment of silence for George Floyd at the Capitol's Emancipation Hall tribute to George Floyd. Now, listen up. Uh, so I can tell you what kente cloth is for dummies. It's a silk and cotton fabric that is royal and worn only in times of extreme importance and was the cloth of kings, originated with the Ashanti people of Ghana, and it's very special on many levels. Uh, the patterns and colors are easily identifiable as a representation of West African culture, and this gives, you know, uh, each kente design its own unique symbolic value, okay? Kente cloth symbolizes the wearer's status are marks of festive occasion now yesterday was a tragic celebration of sorts because homegoing services happened for george floyd in houston today uh, a couple memorials have already happened and the tragic death of george floyd is just the latest killing of a black person at the hands of the police but it has started a global movement okay there's a real paradigm shift going on people and yesterday more than two dozen lawmakers decided to kneel and Kente Cloth, in his honor. Let's listen to uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. We gather in honor of those Americans and so many others. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Armand Arbery, Botham Jean, Terrence Kutcher, Jordan Davis, Oscar Grant, Philando Castile, Freddie Gray, Walter Scott, Tamir Rice, Michael Brown, Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, any other names, members? I'm wish? Judy Allen. Sean Bell. Jordan Davis. Freddie Gray. Love. Taylor. For those who wish to, we will now kneel for our moment of silence. First of all, uh, who gave the white folks the kente cloth? Okay, I need to know which one of you CBC members decided that giving these white folks the kente cloth was a good idea. Okay, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer were up there looking like they were giving a commencement speech at an HBCU that doesn't even exist. They was up there looking like white conda forever. Okay, I'm shocked they didn't do the Black Panther handshake. Like, really shocked. This is what happens when people focus on symbolism and not substance. I don't care about any of that kente cloth kneeling garbage. Okay, if nobody on the Hill is going to tell them the truth, I will. All you white Democrats in Congress looked stupid yesterday. OK, we need policy over pandering. White people, I understand that everybody is on a I love black people kick right now. Black Lives Matter. That's very important. That's great. But listen, this isn't the movie premiere for the Black Panther sequel. OK, this ain't a movie, dog. All right. I know it's 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 a, it's, it's, it's hard at a time like this. But when it comes to the pandering, it's OK, white people to say no to black folk. All right. <laughs> you know what we need you saying yes to? police reform bills, okay, that black people come to you with. The bill y'all passed yesterday, great. Ban chokeholds that or, or, are trying to get passed. The bill y'all put on the table, ban chokeholds that killed George Floyd and Eric Garner, yes. Ban no-knock warrants and drug cases that killed Breonna Taylor, yes. The Justice and Policing Act, I'm all for that. We want legislation and reparations. That's how you atone for the sins of America's OK, that's how you atone for the sins of America uh, toward black people. That's how you show you love black people, by using your privilege to combat prejudice and dismantle the mechanism of white supremacy. That's all I care about. I don't care if a CBC member asked you to do it or not. Say no. OK, tell the CBC member, hey, I'll do you something better. I'm going to try to get one of these legislations passed to atone for the sins of America's past. OK, I'm going to push this funding through to right some of the wrongs this country has done to the black community. Not to mention, I don't like seeing white people take a knee right now. In fact, I don't like seeing Democratic lawmakers take a knee because when Sean Carter, Jay-Z, Hove said in that NFL meeting, OK, I was there. I was in the meeting, too. When he said in that NFL meeting with Roger Goodell that the kneeling worked, he was right. Because the kneeling brought real awareness to an issue that people are taking action on now. When Hove said the kneeling worked, now we are past kneeling and it's time for action. This is the action. The action comes from changing laws. 
passing police reform that holds officers accountable for murdering black folks whenever they want to, okay? Cap took a knee to get the attention of those kinds of lawmakers. Other players and people all around the world took a knee to get the attention of those kinds of lawmakers. We took a knee to get the attention of America and bring awareness to the real issue of police brutality. But the reason I don't want to see the white people kneeling right now is because the knee that got the attention of America in this moment, that knee wasn't Colin Kaepernick's. It was the knee of that murderer. That thug, that white devil, Derek Chauvin, or whatever the hell his name is, okay? That knee that was on the back of George Floyd's neck, that knee is what has laws changing right now. So when I see white folks kneel, I don't know if they are peacefully protesting the way Colin and a host of others did and still do all around the world, or if they are mocking the death of George Floyd. That's just my personal opinion, okay? When I see white folks taking a knee now, I'm not sure if they are with us or against us. All I know is we need policy over pandering. If we don't nip this in the bud right now, can you imagine what the House Democrats have planned for Juneteenth? You don't want to see Nancy Pelosi in a public enemy shirt with a black fist out saying fight the power on Juneteenth. You don't want to see Chuck Schumer in a Jackie Robinson baseball jersey screaming out random quotes like, all my life I had to fight. Do you really want to hear Kendrick Lamar, uh, all right, coming from uh, C Capitol Hill on Juneteenth? Look, man, they a few years late take, on, on taking a knee. So don't think for one second Nancy Pelosi not still learning the Millie Rock right now. Okay, nip this pandering in the bud because it's all fun and games until white members of Congress are doing the Cupid shuffle on Juneteenth. Okay, don't think for one second that a member of the CBC isn't teaching white members of Congress the electric slide right now so they can have a Juneteenth video ready. We don't need none of that. As I said before, policy over pandering. Okay, laws, legislation, that's what we need. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, white conda, for never. Please give the Caucasian members of the Congress who are wearing kente cloth and kneeling the biggest hee haw. <laughs> Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.